Hello. Hey. Well, it's stopped raining. Hurricane Lorenzo is finally... Blamed. Well, we're not actually sure if it's blown through because there's more rain forecast tomorrow. But anyway, it's not raining today, so we are heading into Bamford. Just a bit, a bit further than the average Derbyshire crag. But this place, I don't, have, you, have you been to Bamford? Uh, once, very briefly, for some work, but not really. I've never done any personal climbing before. I did some a while ago, and that was like quite ten a while. years ago. More than that, maybe. There's some cool things. I know. Is it your turn to hold the camera? <laughs> That's the sheep. <laughs> Looks like it has the potential to be a grumpy sheep. Or maybe not. I had a showdown with a ram once. So we've decided we're going to start on Gargoyle Flake, which is up there. It's quite steep. But part of the reason for trying it is it's like there's quite a famous photo. Uh, well, there's quite a few photos from a famous angle, which just looks really cool. But I don't know how we, if we're going to be able to do that with just the two of us. I'm trying to get this camera set up. The proper angles up on the top, but I don't want to leave the camera and tripod up there. Well, we won't be able to see it very easily and it's too far away and lots of people walking past. Yeah, I'm going to try and arrange it on this ledge somehow. And the climb goes up the skyline over there.
What a great little climb. That was, uh, you can see why it gets three stars, really good. Three, like for such a short climb, it's got three very, very distinct different sections to it. The first part's quite bold, there's no gear, it's a bit delicate, smeary. And then you got a sort of quite 3D kind of climbing on the big flake with good gear. And then you get a hot pyre and you get onto those sort of hanging gargoyle things. Gears, okay, but it's not amazing, but holds good and just a really cool sort of airy position being right out there. Yeah, it was a nice like uh, lie down rest. <laughs> good climb, like that. Right, what are you getting on? Bum deal. Bum deal. <laughs> Bum deal. Or might be bum crack. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it's bum deal. You're, it's bum deal. You're, you're, get, you're getting in bum crack. Yeah. Uh, no, I think it's bum deal, actually. Bum deal. Oh, yeah, I don't think the name is bum crack. I think it goes up this hanging little finger crack thing. And then over the bowl. No. Yeah. Excited? No. <laughs> you don't know if you're excited. I don't know if it's excitement or nerves. No. It's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, that's trad uh, climbing. Yeah, <laughs> trad. Yeah. That was 100% messy. I thought the crack was going to be the crux. Turns out it wasn't. I think it was getting over the bulge. There was a crucial pebble that I was holding on to, but it didn't seem enough somehow when you're trying to get over a bulge. So I went right a bit. Not very elegant. Never mind. Just trying to get back into trad climbing after quite a long break from trad climbing, I think. Head game's getting a little bit into it, a bit more, but I wouldn't say it's great. Don't know unless you try. I quite like to go back and just do it clean. I'm not sure I'll get the bulge bit. I just, I don't think coming out from underneath the bulge, as high as I can reach, is like this small pebble, but I can't reach beyond that. And I just worry that holding onto a small pebble and reaching over a bulge, I just ping off it. Um, Maybe I should just man up and do it. I don't know. But 
Mom's quite tired now. Well, I'm so pumped. And so unfit. So you're going to try this climb up here, which is uh, the wrong-handed climb or something. I think there's a high potential for getting your hands in the wrong order. Get C1, 5C, so I'm hoping the gear is pretty good. Not too long, but it does look tricky-ish. Well, I was a little bit busy when I first started the route, but gunpowder crack. DS 5B. It was a bit of a brute at the start, but it looked quite good. I know it was protected, like, but it was a bit of a sort of mantel shelf grovel into a yeah. niche. And my arms got so pumped, like, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so unfit. <laughs> like, <laughs> I got so tired on that first climb that I did. And then having to second this one up his other one, and then got more pumped. And then I got pumped on that one too, and I'm pumped holding the camera right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good training. It's a different kind of pump. This is more bicep pump. Everything else is more forearm. I couldn't undo my nuts at the top. 
That was a good one. Steep. Okay. Yeah. Good holds, but steep. Don't know. If that's it, there's just rain forecast. It's a question of how much we push our luck. I don't want to get caught out, it's a bit of a walk back to the van. One Might day. call it a day. Head back. A little bit pecker. Get some food. I ate one soup. <laughs> you did. I let you had some. <laughs> <laughs> I had a warm mouthful. But you left, so I drank it. <laughs> it's right. very nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, let's call it a day. Let's get packed up. Let's head back to the van okay. and warm up. We get some food. Forecast pretty bad for tomorrow and pretty iffy for the next few days. So I think it might be some indoor back to indoor climbing. Right. Back to the van. <laughs> <laughs>